What Tunubu told me about Buhari's government, ex-SGF Babache Lawal speaks. Babache David Lawal, an elder statesman who served as Secretary General of the Federation under former President Muhammad Buhari administration, has shared a conversation he allegedly had with Bola Tunubu when Buhari became president. In a video recently shared on YouTube by Daily Trust TV, Lawal said during the early days of Buhari presidency, many people were calling Buhari Babagoslu because they felt his government was not making progress. He said in a casual chat, Sudan compared Buhari's government to a pilot who takes an aircraft to the takeoff point and then switches off the engine, causing everyone to stop. Lawal said Tunubu told him that to make the government work better, they needed to focus on two key positions, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation and the Chief of Staff. He said Tunubu told him that having the right people in this role will make a big difference. He also said that the, this conversation happened before he was made SGF by Buhari. So I am asking myself here, what exactly are you trying to see? Do you understand? Okay, in Lawas words, Tunubu told me Buhari government is like pilot who takes aircraft to take off point and switch off the engine. Nothing was moving. He said, I said that we must work on Buhari and two people that he needed at that time was the secretary to the government of the Federation, the SGF and the chief of staff. But I will tell me if he gives us these two people, we don't need to go to him. We can work with these two people, which is the truth. Again, I say, what is the reason for this particular, uh, what's it called? What's the reason for this statement? That is what I'm asking. What did make you come outside the token? Eh? But if you look from the be beginning, or should I say in the beginning, it can't be like, say, if they try to communicate something to us. Hmm? In the sense that, you said in the beginning of Buhari's government, in the beginning of Buhari's government, that people were referring to Buhari as Baba go slow. His progress was slow. Abi, what about now in Turnbull's government, Uncle? Uh -huh. What about now? What are people going to say about it? And he even went on to say that even Tunubu himself said that Buhari's government was that. Was compared to that. He compared Buhari's government to a pilot who takes an aircraft to a takeoff point and then switch it off the engine, causing everything to stop. So what are we going to describe? I said describe. Describe Tunubu's kind of government. Now, like I said, I don't know why he's saying this now. I don't know whether this thing, uh, this to me, this is short fired, if you ask me. And if it is a personal conversation, I don't see why you're bringing it out to the public. <laughs> except, except say you won't use an tontam. Hmm? It's not good, sha. It's not good, sha. But there is something in confidence you're bringing it aside. Have you refunded the grass cutter man? You're not talking about no, no, no. See, see, uh, even though what he's saying, uh, I know see some Turnbull supporters now go on jump inside lagoon, go on throw him inside lagoon, but don't bring it. You're not talking about his grass cutter, whatever. We're not talking about it now. What did Buhari told you about Turnbull talk? Someone told you something in personal gist, and you are telling the whole world. It shows how immature some elders can be. Mm, this is where I come in. I said, okay, if the person tell you something personal and this conversation is going towards the, is giving us the impression that not only 12 on a day when this discussion happened, or maybe not be only 12 on a day, but not only 12 on a get the discussion, then why are you bringing it to out? To publicize it, are you doing it to taunt? <laughs> because from the reactions I'm seeing here, a lot of people are saying you are still bitter. 
Hmm? Just listen to this. Let us clap for Mr. Grass Quarter. The man is still very much bitter since he claimed to cut grass for 59 billion naira. Do you understand? Now, somebody is saying, I agree with Baba Tonombo. You are not getting the gist. For him to be saying it now, had it been he came out that time to say it, that time, boy, it was okay. But then, this story, we don't need it presently. It adds no value to us. The rules, let them do whatever pleases them. The fact remains that the Lord is still on the throne. No controversy. I don't like the way we sentimentalize things in this country. I don't like it. And when I mean I don't like it, I mean it doesn't favor us. See, if something no good, instead of us bringing religion into it, can we please learn how to fix things? If you look at other countries, why they are actually going forward? It's not, they don't sit and gossip like this. So this thing we will watch our land, as in, this thing we will watch our they do. You go tell them, they discuss, they brainstorm on ideas on how to make the country the better. Truly, truly. Eh? Even though the part, the present government will be like say they no fit solve the problem, but they are still going to be brainstorming on ways to get it. We, the so called SGF, former SGF, the gossip, as in in the talking of we do one side, they talk our own. You know, makes sense. And what was your own opinion on Turnbull's comments at that time, irrespective of what anyone may feel about Turnbull? Was his assessment and suggestion not correct? Of course it was. One, in fact, 200% correct. And was that why you believe you were the presidency when Usibanyo decided to remove you? Oh. That was a good assessment by Tulembu and great recommendation as well. I cannot believe the poor language some Nigerian people are speaking. What kind of elementary language they cannot even speak? Well, me, I will tell you, say, we don't need this kind of thing now. As it stands, unfortunately, this government, eh, because of the way we then use behave before election, a lot of people, I don't know, before the, because the way we use behave before election, I don't think a lot of people want to come outside and work with this government. The reason being that most especially people will be saying they get things to offer, but maybe they get ambitions. They only go one commerce I can't stay in their white with, you know, working with this government to ensure but what I'm trying to say is we are supposed to be talking or discussing the brainstorming on how to take Nigeria out from its present state. Maybe they talk this thing with the talk. You have a lot, a lot of work to do. Alright, on this note you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.